Well, we're coming up to Mother's Day. It's about time to start thinking about mum for a change. There's got to be something that you can get her this year that she'll never forget. I'm talking bench grinders. What good woman would not want a bench grinder? With that you can sharpen your spade or any other utils, an axe or anything. They cost around $100 and that poor woman, instead of sitting there with one of those dreadful stones spending hours sharpening the tools, now she'll be able to do the job in seconds. But I've got some other wonderful ideas for mum. There wouldn't be one mum in Australia that does not want a cordless impact driver. These are also sometimes referred to as rattle guns. These are what every woman who wants to conquer the world needs. This is, all right, decking. You put little nails in decking and then it comes up and it bends and here the timber has bent away, pulled the nails out, useless. I'll show you what a good mum can do to this sort of a problem deck. First thing is you drill a pilot hole After you've drilled the guide hole, then you use a countersinking bit. I'm sure Mum's got one. If she hasn't, get her one of those too. A little, I'll show you it in a second. Little countersinking head or bit, if you like, for the drill. Fantastic. Every Mum needs one. Then we use decking screws. They've got the cone shaped head with the flat top and the recessed bit in the middle. This particular one is square. So there's a special bit that goes into Mum's. Oh, look at this. This is a beautiful piece of equipment. Uh, into her cordless, of course, that's very important, impact driver. Now just watch this, we won't split the wood, we'll zip in and all of a sudden this will close up. Now look at that, that's now pretty reasonable. This timber job here is about 25 years old, it pulled it back together. Or maybe your mum or your partner goes for flowers. If they do, this particular one this is the moth orchid or Phalaenopsis. This one is a brilliant indoor plant. It's probably the only orchid that for most areas of the world you could grow easily indoors. These are some more of mine. They've just finished flowering. They keep flowering and flowering for probably six months of the year. As soon as the temperature drops a bit at night, they flower pretty much all the time. Very hardy orchid. Maybe mum would love that. And you know what the best thing about mums is? Well, to all of us blokes, it's that they simply love to share their tools with us guys when we need them.